Hey guys, it's Mimi. I get a lot of questions asked about how to make LPS videos. So I thought I would start a series here on my channel, a series on how to make an LPS series. It'll have several parts, but I'll go through the whole process from start to finish on how I produce an episode. Let's get into it. In this series, how to make an LPS series, I will be showing you how I made up the story Love is Blind throughout the process. So step number one is actually picking out your characters. But when there's so many to choose from, what do you do? You'll want to pick out some main five LPS as your main characters because they will just get more attention. Something that will inspire me is getting a new LPS and then I'll want to make a series with it. So pick out a few main five LPS or cats and dogs at least to be your main characters, ones that just stick out to you or ones that you really like. It's probably better to avoid having LPS that look too similar because it will be hard for people watching to tell the difference. Try to include some diversity by having different looking and different types of LPS. Unless it's about a family, in that case you'll want them to look similar but different in their own way. So I had just gotten this collie and I was really excited about it. This Cocker Spaniel stuck out to me. I just thought a Cocker Spaniel was great because I've never used one in a story before and I really really liked this Great Dane. It really helps to find some props and accessories that you think could really go with your story. Around the same time I got Zoe, I got these Little Woodsies sets and I was so excited about all the little accessories that go inside. I was really inspired to make a series about a bakery. Just start looking through your accessories and maybe finding things that could make a story. Maybe you have a girl who's a ballerina. Maybe someone is moving. Maybe they play the piano. Maybe they're a nurse or a doctor. Maybe they really like to dance. Or maybe the story takes place in an older time. Or maybe they discover a magical book. I got this at a garage sale, by the way. If you don't have accessories, you can always make your own. I made this crate out of popsicle sticks, and the channel My Froggy Stuff actually has a lot of really cool ideas. Once you have some props, you can start figuring out your character's personalities and what their dynamic is. I use the way my characters look as a way to design their personality. This Kali looks really quiet and shy to me, and she's obviously the main character because because I had wanted her for so long and finally got her. I decided that she was gonna be the new girl working at a bakery. He can be a love interest and she can be jealous. This Great Dane also looks like a really tough guy to me, so I made him really rough and tough and mean. And this Cocker Spaniel just looks like she thinks the world owes her something and she wants everyone to know about it. I knew the bakery needed a manager, so I picked out this poodle that's a little bit uptight but responsible looking. I started imagining what her first day at the bakery would be like. She would be shy, obviously. This guy wouldn't really talk to her. This girl would warn her that he is hers. And the manager would want to make sure she's trained. We'll get into how I named them and the storyline in the second part. I hope these tips help you if you're starting a YouTube channel or you're wanting to learn how I make videos. Stay tuned for the next parts where I explain more to you. Also, I've been making videos every single day and let me know if there's anything you want to see from me because I want to make videos that you guys want to see. So let me know in the comments. See ya.